Hey team, so uh, Gary Thomas here with Wiley Sprocket. What we're gonna be talking about today is uh, how to really simply do uh, online ordering for pickup through your uh, QSR business. So, so what we basically wanna do is we wanna enable um, in a really simple method your um, website's ability to go in here and uh, do online pickup. So if a customer wanted to do, for example, order delivery for our Carson City location, they can go ahead here and we have this really cool um, website where they can go and they can order for um, online pickup. And uh, we can add that to the cart. And uh, if we, uh, this one's, oh, we gotta choose a size here. So we'll choose that. So if we were to check out here, uh, the system here is set up to do an online pickup. Uh, we can go ahead and check out if we wanted to. Uh, and there's my information and it says right here, pickup location, uh, Carson City. So uh, we can they can schedule it for later pickup or they can pick it up as soon as possible. And this uh, website is uh, web friendly as well. So um, kind of fun. <clears throat> we'll go back in here and we'll go back to kiva.com. So that's kind of um, what we showed you here with the Carson City location is that is a, a direct link. Uh, but let's say that you have um, Uber, you have uh, Grubhub, you have other delivery options. You can also create these cool landing pages and we'll go ahead here. Uh, actually, we'll go to, uh, if we go to locations, if you want to create a really neat uh, little landing page. So here's Northwest Reno and we'll click here. And there's Northwest and you can do these really cool like, OK, do you want to order now for online pickup? Do you want to order now for delivery or do you want to order now for um, Grubhub? Uh, in this case, for today, we're going to be talking about squareup.com and doing uh, online pickup. So. Um, how do we do this? Well, uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to log into your um, Square dashboard. And uh, we're going to go in here and we're going to go to the dashboard. And um, in the dashboard here, if we go to, there's a little guy here that says online store. So we're going to click on the online store. And it's really simple to add a new location to uh, Square. Um, if you if you want to create a new location, if you already have your location set up, um, you, the the locations will, will automatically be populated here. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to click click on um, the Carson City location, uh, and there these are all of our uh, online orders that we've processed for pickup, uh, and th that's for September. And if we go into settings here. Um, there's a couple of things. Um, you can really kind of change the URL to make it a lot cleaner. A lot of times Square will give you this um, random kind of encrypted uh, URL, but uh, this is going to be the URL, the direct link uh, to your website. Um, you can also use a custom domain if you really, if, if you don't want to have a, a separate website, um, you can use a custom domain. Make the, it visible online. You're going to check that. You're going to check accept orders. Um, shipping, of course, is free and ship within seven days, but we're not shipping anything out of this location. So these are just kind of default if you do decide that you want to ship things in addition to maybe you have a novelty gift uh, business or you're selling supplements uh, and you want to be able to ship items to your customers. Well, you can enable that. Um, we have our hours information here that will all populate. So. Once we go get all that, we're going to click on our store editor. I kind of did that quickly here. So we'll go back. We're going to click on our store editor. And with our store editor, um, what's going to happen here is it is really going to populate uh, most of the information from your web store. And, and really what will happen at first is you'll, you'll kind of get this blank. Uh, you'll see this little add section button at the very top. And what you're going to do is you're going to add goods and services. Um, and on here, I can uh, really quickly add, you know, uh, let's say supplements. I want to add supplements to my to my website. Um, we're going to go ahead here and we're going to import those items. I like to import them uh, from the library. So we're going to go and I'm going to say import from library and I'm going to hit whey protein. So if I go down here to uh, whey protein, we'll do the strawberry protein. 
And in this case, we're gonna do it just for pickup. So that option is only gonna be, be available for picking up in the store. And there it is. And you can do a cool description here, 100% pure strawberry whey protein. So we'll do that, just like that. And then um, once we do that, so that's actually saved in real time. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get out of this here. And if we go back into our website, um, www.kiva.com, which is our web store here, and we go back to order delivery, we'll go to Carson City. And if we go to the bottom here, there it is, our supplements whey protein, um, which we just added to our website. So very simple, getting this on your website, um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to log into your uh, web portal. If you have a web admin or if you do it yourself, we'll show you this um, is very simple. Um, I like to use uh, WordPress uh, for, my, uh, for my websites. Um, simply because uh, I, I like the, the flexibility uh, that WordPress gives you uh, and being able to add or change different things. And so, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to appearance and then we're gonna go to menus and every website's different, but you're gonna have a, a menu listing. And if you see here uh, in, in WordPress, it could be a number of different um, sites. If I, go, if I go back to Kiva, Kiva Dot com, you can see I have these menu functions right here. Well, in my WordPress site, if you use WordPress or it could be other Squarespace, um, you're gonna have your menu. There's your menu listings. And so all I've done is I've added the custom link and I just simply copy and paste um, the URL from my settings page, which is right here. So there's your, your URL. So you just basically copy that, Command C on a Mac, and then paste that into your URL page, just like that. And then once you do that, um, you're gonna save the menu and that is going to update it automatically. Um, and there's some other things that you can do as well. There's a lot of customization and Square gives you a lot of flexibility to really um, um, you know, take a billion dollars of investment that they've put into this system and infrastructure through Square and really simply integrate it onto your website. So you have something that's really cool um, and in addition to uh, being able to um, tap into it and maximize your business. So um, if you like the video, please uh, like the page below and uh, send me uh, any questions on future videos that you wanna see. So. Uh, thank you and you guys have a great day.